Oh, you thought I was lying about saying we watch everything. Yeah, we're reviewing this. What's going on, everybody? This is Travis from Candid at the Movies, and today we will be reviewing the biographical drama film known as The Apprentice. Now, this movie does star Sebastian Stan, Maria Bakalova, and Jeremy Strong. Now, this movie is basically about the real estate businessman, Donald Trump, basically learning from Roy Cohn in his early 20s and 30s. Now, I will go ahead and say more than anything, a lot of us know about Trump. We're not gonna get into the politics thing. This is just about the movie itself. And I will definitely say this is gonna be a movie that hopefully gets a lot of nominations for the good acting. But overall for this story, it is a lot to take in. You are getting to see a young Donald Trump basically trying to deal with all of the different controversies of his father and while trying to build his own career, but not really knowing how to do it. So he gets in touch with the attorney Roy Cohn, basically learns from him, catches on to his mannerisms, looks to him as a mentor, and you basically see how this changes his life, his way of thinking, and how he operates. There are things in this movie that are not gonna sit well with people, especially the one scene that does involve and dealing with his first wife, so that's definitely not gonna be good. His father's suit against African-American tenants and a whole lot of other things that are said in this movie, but ultimately this movie does show you the picture of a man, of how he became to be. They try to humanize him at times, but also don't shy away from the things that he has said, done, and different things where he's had business ventures where they don't work out. So they don't hide that, and I, that makes you appreciate the film, because more than anything, it's a lot of stuff in this movie that are basically thrown to the side when it comes to his life and presidency that they don't want to talk about. But this is the movie that's really going to put it in your face, make you see, hey, this happened. Hey, this is what's going on. Hey, this is where he got that from. And it really shows more than anything who the real winners and losers were when it came to Ronald Reagan and his life as a president. If you really want to look into that, there are articles out there not shooting down anybody that likes Reagan or Trump or whatever, but the truth is out there if you really want to look for it. But I feel more than anything Sebastian Stan is going to get nominated for this role because he does such of a great job in this movie to where you don't even see him as Sebastian Stan or the Winter Soldier. You see Trump and he does a real good with that. Jeremy Strong as Roy Cohn was amazing. I'm definitely sure he's going to get a nomination for this one. And I feel like this movie is really good. They don't shy away from the things of Trump having liposuction or getting scalp reduction surgery. They don't hide away from the stuff. They don't hide away from the things Roy Cohn was doing. You know, more than anything, this is a real telling movie. And I feel people should check it out regardless of what you believe in when it comes to politics. It'll just make you see this person for what this person really is. And whatever you feel that he is, you get it in this movie. Um, what I do find really hilarious about this movie is about the people that were like Dan Snyder, who were putting money into this movie, not knowing what it was about. So to me, that's hilarious. I know a lot of people on the Trump campaign are trying to just ban this movie, be like, don't put it in theaters and everything, but you need to see things like this. It's not in the full-fledged of a parody like the 
movie W was where Josh Brolin was being George W. Bush. It didn't go into full parody like that, but it was still just showing you the real side of everything. I will definitely give this movie a solid B minus. I'm not gonna say it's the greatest movie in the world, but I'm saying overall it was a decent film. But hey, let me know if you're gonna check this movie out. I'd love to hear what you all have to say about it. Leave us a like, leave us a comment. Subscribe to us if you haven't already. And by all means, we'll catch y'all later on Candid. Peace.